Transitions are never simple. They are a time of rebirth, perplexity, and surrendering to the unknown. During this time, I have learned that it's important to keep an open mind and to listen to my own inner voice. Stripping myself of the pleasures within my home and becoming immersed in the rain, mud, cows, grass, and surrendering to the hum of the insects and the cold wind hitting my flesh allowed me to empathize with people who are less fortunate than myself and don't have the luxury of living in a secure and comfortable place that they can call home. In college and throughout my year of being a first grade teacher, I long to be free, to strip myself of the material possessions that seem to be weighing me down. So I soon came to realize that it wasn't my possessions that were weighing me down. It was my inability to keep my possessions at bay. Even with owning far less than I ever had before, in a small space, I felt as though I was drowning in things. I am very particular about the space that I create around me, especially when I sit down to find stillness through meditation or yoga. I think this is because our external reality often influences our internal reality or the mind. I like to practice mindfulness in a space outside amongst the trees and the grass, free from clutter and signs of destruction. Any time I lay my mat down on the earth and notice cigarette butts or litter, I quickly remove them from my line of vision, later throwing them away. When I lived in the cottage last year, I enjoyed creating a peaceful environment. I would dim the lights, play calm music, and maybe even light a candle or two before I sat down to practice yoga. I know these are small and trivial things, but they do go a long way. For me, they do at least. I have realized that this concept of getting rid of excess things we are holding on to, or making sure our things are influencing our mental state, relates back to the fifth yoga yama, a parigraha, which is all about letting go and bringing in simplicity. Laura Gullner is someone I really enjoy watching on YouTube. And when she talks about this concept, she talks about how we are accumulating things in our physical life. Most likely, we're holding on to these things because on an emotional level, we aren't doing a very good job at releasing, releasing resentment and attachment to the past. Letting go of this clutter and resentment will really allow one to simply enjoy their time in the present moment. It's really interesting how everything is constantly changing for us as humans. Just a few months ago when I cleaned out the cottage I lived in and my classroom, it was really hard for me to let go of certain things because they held sentimental value to me. So, instead of giving them away, I decided to store them at my parents' house in Sarasota, Florida. But now that I've been gone for quite a few months, I've realized that these possessions aren't really that important to me after all. It's not like I give them any thought while I'm here in Amsterdam. So why hold on to them? When we clear, we invite new and better opportunities to arise for ourselves. Clearing could have to do with possessions, people, our daily routine, or our thought patterns. What do you feel you would like to clear in your life? What would you like to get rid of? What would you like to invite in? Please let me know in the comments down below. And thank you so much for joining me and being a part of my journey.
I hope you have a wonderful and peaceful rest of your day. Thank you.